When you hear the word perimeter, you should be thinking the length of the border around an object or the distance around a shape. In other words, if you took an object or shape and walked all the way around it, doo -doo 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 -doo, measuring all the way, boom, and you took that length, you took that distance, that would be your perimeter. Let's find the perimeter of this rectangle. First, this side here, dun 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 dun, that's three. Keep walking, this side is four. Here we're gonna get another three. And lastly, another four. Now if we add all those side lengths up, three plus four plus three plus four, that gives us a perimeter of 14 units. I used the term units because we didn't know the specific unit we were using, like inches or feet. If we want the perimeter of a triangle, same thing, same process. Let's measure all of our distances all the way around the outside. Doing that, we get seven plus five plus four and an overall perimeter of 16 units. Lastly, let's take a look at the perimeter of a circle. Now circles are so special, the perimeter has its own name and we call it the circumference. The circumference of a circle is equal to two times pi times r. Remember, pi just means 3.14, it's just the number. Two times pi times the radius. The radius is the half the distance across the circle. Here, we see that we have a radius of 14, so all I need to do is take that radius of 14 and plug that right into my circumference formula. That's gonna give circumference equals two pi times 14, or 28 pi units, or if we times 28 times 3.14 for pi, we get 87.92 units. Again, that would be the circumference or distance around the entire circle.